Hey YouTube, you have Leonard here. Bring guys and gals. Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian. I'm gonna give the Japanese title one more time. Tokidoki Bosoto Doshogo De Dedadu Tonari no Adia san. We're here, we're live, everybody. Alia, episode number eight was up what is good. Slightly new setup. I've done some rearranging. I got better lighting. Same microphone. I'm going to upgrade my microphone very soon as well, but we digress. Um, we're going to hop right into this episode, everybody. I got to say, last week, the setup was really good. I'm curious how this whole thing with Taniyama is going to go down. The only way that... The most logical way I see this unfolding, in my opinion, this is just strictly Leonard opinion, version one, is that they set up already the power of the student congress and how it sways the minds of people. We know that currently Yuki is above and shoulders the favorite. We also know Taniyama is someone that people respect, but she also is not running for personal reasons. We also know Taniyama does not like Kuze whatsoever, and she also thinks that Ali is a joke. So the way I see this unfolding, in my opinion, Leonard version 1.0, is that Taniyama is basically, and we see this a lot of shonen anime when it comes to power scaling, Taniyama is someone who is formidable and is going to be a stepping stone for Alia and Kuze, the duo, to ultimately be seen in a much better light by the rest of the student body. Because right now, Alia is lagging behind in comparison to, um, what should we call it, Yuki and her candidacy at Ayano. And I do think that if they beat Taniyama in this student congress, it's going to really bump up their stature. Now, conversely, there is a world where Taniyama wins, and this is a blow to Ali and Kuze, and they have to grow from this. But since they're already so far back to begin with, I just think it makes more sense that they're going to win. Kuze gets some things reconciled to Taniyama, because that would help his character as well, and that this is a stepping stone to them becoming actually relevant in the race. So anyway, we're going to hop into this episode. Smash that like button. It is greatly appreciated, as always. But with that, we're going to begin. We're going to start this episode in five, four, Three, two, one. Oh, and we started the opening, my bad. All right, we begin. James, I'm so curious. What happened on Reddit? I'm so curious. Oh, shoot. Okay. James, let's give it a quick glance and I see mods and I'm like, dang. This is one places. A random side note for those on Twitch. Yeah, I just gave it a quick glance. I'll read everything. Random side note for those on Twitch, by the way. I'm caught up on Rent a Girlfriend again. Random side note. Random side note. I completely agree. There's literally nothing in it for him. That's correct. If you can beat her. Ino versus Shirogane was nice. Ino recognized the beauty of Shirogane. Even the president was like, bro, this is a bad idea. He's like, this is an awful idea. Bro, what does she really think? <laughs> Kuze's like, whatever. Whatever.
Bro, I still just can't get over it. I just keep thinking back to when she called Ali a puppet. Yes, yes they are on very bad terms. Kuzi, you you guys are on bad terms. It's possible. We want backstory. Oh. He did? Correct. Correct. Not your fault, Alia, but that is correct. I sleepy um I'm actually wide awake I didn't have the greatest sleep last night but I'm actually I'm very wide awake oh that's such a good comparison Ali and Horikita are really really similar that's actually a very good comparison Why does this girl look like best girl from um Kaguya-sama? Yes, Hayasaka. I was like, she literally looks like from Kaguya-sama. Yeah, I was gonna say they look they're exact opposites. You can already tell. Oh. Because it's like, I'll handle the rest. You know, the dub narrating when he says she's best girl, you know. Our queen. Our queen, they call Yuki. And they know nothing about Alia. Oh, you gotta have more confidence in yourself. Gotta have more confidence. Oh, do ya? Is she an E? There's no way. I'm going to answer for her. There's, she is not no E cup. I'll answer that for him. Good job. Good job, Kuze. Bro, she's... No, but she's not that big. Do you know how big an E? Like, she, maybe a D? She's not no E. Oh yeah, Masha definitely bigger. Okay, we're not having this conversation on Twitch. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh. 
Dang, that's a direct attack. Dang. Of course. To be fair, though, she's not wrong. I'm kind of with Taniyama on this one. That's not a bad point. Facts. I don't think you need the teacher screenings per se, though. If you made it to the popular vote, I'd be fine even with a popular vote for the student council. Get Amalia. Get Amalia. Get him. No. Oh. If they off screen, that'd be so upset. I disagree. The very people that you voted for. Like, you voted for these people, and now you don't trust the people they nominate? Facts. That's what I was saying. It's popular vote. I agree. That's true. It undermines the authority of the student council at the end of the day. It undermines the individuals, you people, who have voted for such ones. Nice. Mm hmm Here it comes. Yep. Mm. Mm. Get him, Alia. You fool. Oh, what did this girl just text? Such a plant. I 
Alia. Alia. Oh, it's happening again. She can't handle the stress. Kuze. <laughs> and now he's lighting the mood. So what's the point? He's like, what? <laughs> Dang, destroyed his life. Kuze's eye in the Koji and Alias where you to confirm facts. Bro, why are you gonna attack the president, man? Oh, I love this. Yep. If it was up to teach recommendations and stuff, he wouldn't even be a student council member. <laughs> this man's like, I've just been destroyed. Get out of there. Go after Alia. By the way, I don't think this is a problem whatsoever. Um, we know that Alia is still growing. And honestly, Alia did her thing until Unfair Play took over. Alia was crushing it until the Unfair Play of the plants. Well, that was easy. Easy clap. And then was she hurt when they broke up? It hurt her. Get her, Alia. This kind of reminds me of Shanks and Buggy. Random One Piece reference. I think Taniyama honestly is very overdramatic about all this, in my personal opinion. And yes, she is a fool. But I understand how this all transpired. It's not random. It's very apropos to Shanks and Buggy. It truly is. No, you didn't make it up. You're correct on everything you said about their bond and stuff. But you put so much faith and confidence in the two of them. And you blamed that for why you gave up on your ideals. The two of them shouldn't have made her give up on her ideals regardless. That's the issue I have with Taniyama. Taniyama is upset because she gave up. and But she gave up to the ideal couple. And now that she's supporting Alia. It feels like it tramples upon her ideals. And why she had given up to begin with. Tell her Alia. 
And by the way, the beauty of Alia's character is that Alia does not back down. She gets like her PTSD sometimes and freezes up, but she's genuine and she speaks her mind, which I really appreciate. This episode is a W for Ollie for me. Oh, she's so nice. Dang. Yuki sounds like such an evil villain. Alia with straight facts and Masashika Kuze. Okay. The heck? Bro, stop trying to act like you are final boss. <laughs> she admits it. Emmy, I agree by the way on the Alia slander. Mm, loyalty. The loyalty flag. Fan or queen. Fat. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's true. Uh, it knows why Yuki's quiet now. Yuki shut up very quick. You can know she lives in the anime and she takes full advantage. I really didn't think that was the reason why she was upset with Kuzi. I did not expect that. question oh she doesn't get it the guilt of making her have to live this life as the heir to the Suo family This is his true desire. He wants to be with you. Aw. You're the one he wanted. Girl, you know he likes you. Say it in Russian. What does she say? What does she say? No! I 100% believe that he's, she's just confessed again. What does she say? What does she say? Dang, dang, dang. Yuki at it again. What? Confirmed. Barely. 
No, I stand by she ain't no E-cup. That means she's a... D I quit. I quit. I quit everything. I quit. Great. This is a great episode, guys. I really enjoy this. But oh my gosh. The fact they didn't translate it, I'm going to be so bothered. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm Google translating it. Yes, she is indeed a D. Can't even. But to be fair, there's there, there, there's a spectrum on the D side. That's what I'm saying. To be an E is ridiculous. Okay, let me shut up. Let's let's move on. Let's move on from this conversation. I'm not doing this. Oh, you know, 100%, right after this this ending is done, I'm going right back and I'm translating that on my phone. You, that's exactly what I'm doing. I got my translate up ready, everybody. If you don't want to be spoiled, click off. That's the first thing I'm doing. I'm just saying. I'm just simply trying to correct people. Fine, no, no, no more cup discussion. Okay, we're done, guys. We're done. Um, if you do not want to be spoiled, I'm going back right now. I'm checking what was said. So, again, click off if you do not want to be spoiled on what she said. But I'm translating this right now. Okay. We got it. We're translating this. How do I do this? All right. Use this in a minute. Let's translate this. Identify. Uh, Russian. Russian to English. Interesting. Okay, guys, I have what she said. So full context. Oh, yes, I have zero patience. I have zero patience because the episode's over. I'm not laying a cliffhanger. I can guess what she said. She said, oh, that's obvious. And then she says in Russian, and quote, she says, because... No, I'm saying this in video. If you do not want to be spoiled, click off the video right now. Click off, because I'm saying it in the video. If you get spoiled, it's your fault now. I made it very clear. Spoiler in five, four, three, two, one. She says, and I quote, because it's you. Because it's you. That is what she said. Which is basically a confession. She's like, the reason I'm doing that, the reason I chose you, she didn't say because I love you, but it resonates the same way. It's like, because it's you, duh. And she's blushing. Oh, this is my thumbnail. This is so beautiful. Bruh. If you do not like Alia, you're trash. Get off my channel. She may not be my favorite, but I like Alia. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone says. Alia's definitely better than Huikita. And I defend Huikita as well. But Alia is definitely better than her. No space. Yeah, guys, I think Masha's done. As much as I like Masha's character, I think the story's made it very clear. Masha's going to support Kuze ex Alia. We know that Yuki is like, that's just whatever. So Alia is the ship. It is what it is. It's done. It's over. I don't know why authors hate characters so much sometimes. It's actually kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, this was this was the epitome of wholesome. So anyway, guys, we're going to end it here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like the video if you like the video, subscribe if you like my content. It is greatly appreciated as always. And with that, I'm Leonard and I'm out. Take care, everybody. And of course, have a good one. Peace.